Hello and welcome to the Rakyat Times TV News. I'm Mick Hu. With the Atantuya Sharibu murder taking centre stage in the spat between Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Raza and the former Prime Minister Tun Dr Mahathir Mohamad, the second convicted killer is said to be seeking a review of the federal court's guilty verdict. Lawyers for Chief Inspector Azila Hadri said that the application was being finalised. Lawyer Dato Hasman Ahmad said the application would be filed soon even though there was no deadline to be met. According to a report in the Malaysian Insider, Hasman said there were some valid grounds to review the ruling by the five-man bench. He was asked by the news portal if Azila had applied to the pardons board to get his death sentence commuted to life imprisonment. Co-accused Siro Asha Uma, who had fled to Brisbane some months back, has threatened to reveal everything about the high-profile murder of the Mongolian to the Australian media. He claimed that Atantuya's murder had been carried out upon someone's instructions. And this claim has been the subject of a scathing attack on Najib by Dr Mahathir. Writing in his blog, the longest-serving Prime Minister said that Cyril's claim needed to be investigated. This, he said, was essential to determine who had given the orders. According to Dr Mahadil, besides Najib saying that Cyril's claim was rubbish, there had been no investigation. The attacks on Najib seem to have hit an all-time high with Dr Mahathir even saying that should Najib lead the BN into G14, the party would lose Putrajaya. And in France, the second black box from the German wings plane that crashed in the French Alps last week has been found after a nine-day search. Prosecutors say they, hope they are hoping to unearth more clues on the disasters from the black box after the first voice recorder suggested that co-pilot Andreas Lupitz had deliberately flown the plane into a mountain. The second black box records technical flight data that could provide vital insights into the final moments of flight 4U9525 before it crashed last Tuesday, killing all 150 people on board. The first black box, found the same day as the crash, recorded conversations between Lubitz and the pilot and showed that the 27-year-old German had been alone at the time of the crash. He had apparently taken advantage of the captain's brief absence to lock him out and set the plane on a deadly descent into the Alps. The plane had smashed into the mountains at a speed of 700 kilometers or 430 miles an hour, instantly killing all 150 people on board, half of them German and more than 50 from Spain. According to prosecutors, the voice recorder suggested that the passengers were unaware of what was going to happen to them until the very last second when screams were heard. And that was the news on Rat Times TV. Have a great week ahead and we will see you next week, same place, same channel.